what it was, this era during the, when it was the military administration was the, one of the worst in the history of this country. And this same man was rebranded and came back again. And so the, our elder that knew him, that knows better, see, supported this guy and brought him back for eight years to destroy Nigeria. They allowed him to come back and wreck havoc. Hmm. He's a military man. He's going to stop Boko Haram. He's an upright man. He doesn't take bribe. This guy had $2.8 billion stolen when he was missing, when he was, uh, uh, was the uh, petroleum whatever uh, project then. This guy is as corrupt as anybody, and wicked too. This guy threatened Nigerians that if he doesn't win the election, mm -hmm. this is going to happen. That if, if, if you kill Boko Haram, any attack on Boko Haram is attack on the North. Mm -hmm. He said all this, he said all this, and Nigerians still voted for him. We still have people, so professors, PhD holders, yeah, supported this guy. Tomorrow, they will still speak for him. They will still, they'll still, they'll speak for him. Man. It's a man of probity. It's a man of integrity. Like, um, come on, man. Under them, integrity do actually means a different thing now. You know that. The same thing, the same thing they did with uh, with uh, 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 Tiff Numbu, uh -huh. that he built Lagos. And actually, I was still in Lagos for over 45 years. Which Lagos, which build are you talking which about? Build, go, 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 go. Because a lot of you that will go back to that same Lagos now just will be like, um, Lagos was clean and when you were younger, 45 years ago, it wasn't this was 50 years Jack ago. Conde. We still have so those images, but then we know when everything Jack Conde. changes. Jack Conde in the, the 80s proposed a metro line project that Buhari canceled as, as a president. Hey now. Jack Conde. Hey now. Imagine, imagine years back when Jack Conde proposed the metro line project yeah. and look at the blu ray they are doing it now. As the if they are, they are... It was in 1981, it was going to come back and build that in 1983 elections which got thrown out uh, the following year remember so our parents and our father our fathers those that support this evil they, they didn't do well and these religious leaders that kept quiet all this while we are still the bakari for god's sake we are still the bakari he was at ojota every time at ojota every time i at ojota every time i at ojota with with uh tunubu and co with fashion and co protesting against jonathan now they don't want the same protest to happen. Unity that they preach now. Nigeria is our country. We cannot let this country burn. Now to protest is now for violence. It's no longer right. Problem. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mario. Go, 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 uh, so it, in fact, things has to change. It, it's going to change. Definitely, it's going to change. Something we can't continue like this. We can't continue like this. We can't continue like this. Thank you, Mario. God bless you, CA. That's a very good one from you. I have another caller, but I'm going to ask this my caller to hang in there so that I can go say thank you to uh, uh, my dear Templars, my dear donors. You never fail me. And that's one thing. It's like a secret to weapon that I, I always pull at the last minute when there is nothing I can do. And every time I pull it, you have always been there. Uh, sister, I know sometimes you don't like me to mention your name, okay? But I'm just going to say, Sister Yinka. You know yourself. So I have also received 207 pounds. She's given me part of that though, okay? And she wants uh, 100 pounds of that uh, to go straight uh, to this uh, two Templars. And I've also received an anonymous uh, pledge of 50,000 Naira. And I've also received another one. Again, I'm gonna try my best to see if I can just try and mention something closer because not everybody wanted their names mentioned, okay? I just have to. Uh, yeah, I just have to because, uh, you know, this is not my money, okay? So I've got uh, e-business. E, e you, know you know what that means, right? You know yourself, I got your 50 pounds as well. So what we have right now is that, uh, let me go check, 75 pounds, 50 pounds, 100 pounds, that is a 225 pounds. I think all I need more is just 75 pounds. And guess what? That will actually give us uh, over 600,000 Naira. So to the two of you, um, what should I call you that you can possibly somehow start showing appreciation to these uh, Templars, okay? That I won't even give up your idea. But see, Paul, if you're watching this, don't think I ignored your messages as it will probably look, okay? You've always been here. 
And then uh, to this, my other brother in South Africa, to you too, just so you know, okay? People are already responding to uh, your, uh, you know, the, your, your request. If I have to get more than what I ask for, you will get every penny paid to you, every penny to the two of you. Hmm? Thank you. Here is another caller, though. Um, I believe. Hello, is that Adiola? Yes, Adiola speaking tonight. How are you doing, too? Brother, thank you so much uh, for joining me and for your patience, right? Yes, no problem, no problem. Great show as usual, you know, doing well, great show. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's, you know, very interesting night. Uh, the chicken would have, you know, the chicken will come home to roost one day. Eventually. You know, so so those things that are, you know, behind, they're inevitable. You know, you cannot compare, <clears throat> you can't bring up um, Buhari and compare him to Winston Churchill. I'm sure you're aware of it. That's what Inubu compared him to when they were campaigning. Remember? Hmm. Yeah. When, yeah Nigeria, it, when, it, when, when France was in problem, they, they went for, uh, what's that guy? Name Napoleon. Uh, Napoleon the Bonaparte. They went for the God. Yeah. Uh, when yeah. Britain was in trouble, they went for Churchill. When Nigeria yes, was in yes. trouble, <laughs> that's our version. <laughs> that's our version of Churchill. Is it, is it you have a <laughs> so when you have people like that, people like that, and you have them in power, and you know, it's inevitable that the results will have to come. You know, so I don't see you know any turning back. And I don't. And if there's going to be a protest. Is going to us unseat everybody. It has to. The it, it has to unseat. It, it, it has to. You can't to, go you know. and be asking if Nungu must go on day one. Don't, no. don't join. No, them. no, no, even no, if they no, try to, no, no. Even if they try to make you say that, tell them no. Hey, hey, please. One by one, one after the other. Mm. Okay. We want this back. Mm. We want that back. If they are not doing that, eh? Then yes, we are not going anywhere. Then yeah, if just in the complete overhaul. You and be mistakenly killing one person anywhere in Nigeria. Everybody should just go to phase two, and that will then be mm -hmm. if Nungu must go. That's how you should do it. Don't get any. Don't mm -hmm. let them infiltrate you enough that they will begin to leave. They will begin to sing some war song from day one because they wanted everything to mm -hmm. collapse within two days. Don't fall for it. Mm -hmm. I don't let me mm -hmm. tell them. Ah, Baba, see this one is going to happen. Eh? Like they say, on the rule. It's my point. Oh, they do not go at all. They don't go wait to see every see the oh. Uh -huh. No, 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 Baba. They go jar, they go jar to now. They go jar because the, the the outcome has to come, my God. The outcome of all the rubbish they've been doing, it has to come. Consequences for all this series. There are consequences. Mm -hmm. There are consequences. So the outcome will come. The way to play out, you know, it might not be comparable to the one in Kenya. Because every country has its own, you know, features, yeah, you know. So, yeah. yeah, exactly. So, you know, you, you you might not have one person confessing, just like on the clip you played, you know, all the atrocities they've you know, you know, you know, they've done. You might find them confessing from afar when they've jackpot. <laughs> it's, it's my point. You know, they, they, they might be releasing videos. Me, you know. I'm not looking forward to them doing it the Kenya way. Yeah. I am saying no. that when the shit eat the fan, okay. And they cannot mm -hmm. run away because not all of them will be able to run away. The people yes. that will capture them, eh, they will now say, listen, is that that we deal with you the way we want to? Or you mm -hmm. just take this list and begin to write how much <laughs> in all this routine, okay? So once you now write everything out, eh, you will now mm -hmm. be given this speech that you mm -hmm. have to say, fellow Nigerians, <laughs> my name is please yes, I, I have I have been for I have given these people everything I have stolen. I've given them the list, I've mm -hmm. given them the document, mm -hmm. and I ask for mm -hmm. forgiveness. You know, I'm just saying, you know, that people should, should keep something from what is going on there, right? Some of them yeah, because the, when the shit is because, because I think I think the low level ones might be one might be the ones that might not be able to escape, if you see what I mean. The ones that are very quick, some agile, that have party. Overconfidence will keep some of them there. Exactly. You get what I mean? uh, because they have this. They will too stubborn to go. They can command yes, their voice. Yes. Until yes, they yes, yes. Down, some of the thugs they may always use will now turn on against them. They will now say, see, they they plunge, hate them. Okay, you get. There's no more middle class. They uh, plunge people into poverty. See, they plunge people into poverty. 
the ones that were in poverty have moved to, to extreme poverty. You know, there are layers of poverty. There's poverty and there's extreme poverty. So the ones in poverty, they've been plunged to, you know, to extreme poverty. The ones in middle class have been plunged to poverty. So, you know, those are the consequences of having such people in power. See, Michael, one, you know, when I was in Lagos recently and I saw how much they were selling uh, uh, tomato and they were selling pepper, I was so disheartened because these things can grow for free if you just to wash wash tomato or wash pepper and pour the water behind your back garden. These things can grow freely. You know, we can boost food production with the right people in place. But the outcome, my goal, this is the outcome of all those lies. You know, they've been, you know, said, how can you build Lagos? You build a slum and, you know, and they have mastered the art of lying. Mm -hmm. And they they must have that of lying. Boldly. They will lie. They will even do this. Who are, do that. Lagos, <laughs> who are living in the slum? Eh? They started feeling like they were living in a mega city, too. They started feeling no. like ah, it's true. Have you been to? Have, like, oh my, you are living in a shit hole. Baba, come on now. But the, the, these guys are, they continue to make them feel like they are living in a better place, that they are giving the credits. Mm. No. So, no, you know, they've lied too much. They've lied people into poverty. Hmm. See, when I was there, I was so sad. You know, I, you know, I just went to, to, to was it uh, Chicken Republic to see if I can get food. And the minimum portion of chicken and chips was over 6,000 naira, my ego. Yeah. Was over 6,000 naira. And I was not thinking, this, this is not, this is even beyond the rich of anyone in you know in any in, in, in any uh, 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 basic salary is beyond the rich. You can't even say you want to just chill and, and buy. You can't. You know. You know. I, I my good. The end has to come. On. The end has to come. And, and I don't know how. I just hope that people that will lead this movement or that will be not even lead, that will be influential, will be ones that will really trash out all the problems that we have. And there's no going back because the outcome has to come. The outcome of, of all this thuggery, of all this lo excessive looting. You can't see ah, impunity my, as well. Like, okay, yes, we are it, looting. So what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, That's exactly yeah. the stage they are now. What are you gonna they do? They are comfortable it? that Nigerians are powerless. You know, there is that level whereby people will be powerless because they're in poverty. When people are in poverty, in extreme poverty, you know, you, you know, you you strip away the rights from them. You strip away the power from them. You strip away dignity from them. People that should be gainfully employed, people that should be productive, you render them useless. You still, you still, you still, you still look at the building that. Them. Look at the building that so you know. Fast. Uh -huh. People go so, so fast. fast. So this movement, though, you know, I believe any movement coming out now will be the finality. We don't want any replacement. We want let's, to bring the whole structure go, down. No, Michael is beyond their rich. It's, it's be, people are in poverty. It's beyond their rich. Okay, Michael, what are they going to do extra to alleviate these things? In one week. What promises? There's nothing. See, raising minimum wage is not the solution. The, the system is broken. Let us strip it out and let's rebuild if we want to be together. Break it apart. The, break it up. Break, break it, it apart. And all of that, okay? And let people go there is see no if shame. they want to still be together or not after that. There is no shame in breaking it up because that is the only logical thing to do. Break it up because it's not working. You know, you, you built you built on a, a shaky foundation. You built on sand. And you're expecting, you know, the, 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 the building to be solid. It's not, you know, how much are they selling car? Even, even fairly used car, Toyota. My own six my million, million, seven million. No, ah, my this even Nigerian use one or six, seven million. Hmm. Toyota, Nigerian used to six, seven million. And I'm thinking it's beyond the reach of a lot of people. So if it, so, if you have a, a you know, imagine your you car, know your friend you used know car. How much, uh, we bought a Yoruba Union bought uh, a bike, brand new bike. No, not at all. That uh, Mr. Lukman, that guy that we uh, paid for his mm -hmm. operation here, remember? So we bought, yeah, 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 yeah. you know how much we bought one? I think it was about 900,000 Naira. Right now, it's probably over wow. a million Naira. Okada. Wow. Okada wow. bike. Baba, 
That's wow. something that uh, you have to cash out seventy thousand now to go and buy a bajaj. Oluwo giti niye. You bought a bajaj. Then how? Then, then get how will you now? Nice. Over ah, here. over a million. So how? Can't even mobility know. problems. Even even just mobility serves the problem. That's only country that may I see that your fairly used cars will be revalued upwards. It, see, my goal is not sustainable. Let us be honest. We, even even we we are tired. We and the diaspora, we are tired. Let this thing come crashing down. We are ready for them. Even for what? For what? Who have no, who have no job, uh, who have no employment or whatever or any other means of sustaining themselves. To even put then how do you break even, my goal? Together and buy yourself a bike these days, eh? Then how we now break even if you buy yourself a bike? No anymore. No anymore. No, but Michael, how do you sustain that? How do you how, even how break even you if you buy? Exactly. How? Even how if you're lying him? to yourself and telling yourself that uh, it will get better. How? You must be doing something no. to make that better. At least if you can't make See, it Michael, better, you can't go back. You can, you can stop the bleeding, right? Where you can begin to you invest the in stopping the bleeding so that it doesn't get worse. But no, 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 no. Everything we could make it worse is what these guys are doing. Look I'm at what that guy was the saying. They're asking for again. Uh, no, you see, my even That's when you're showing that clip of that guy lying, that guy that was lying through his mouth about the refineries being you know, going to be in, 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 in a full operation. Sure, you know, sure God, it, but <clears throat> I think it's gonna work in there because it's all lies, man. It's all lies. My what God, I wanted to say Naira to about pound, that, Adiola, is Naira. they do not have crude oil, Nigeria doesn't produce crude oil themselves, huh? so they do not have sure. crude oil to supply those refineries. That's another story for another day. Oh, ask Dan, huh? and it's Dan Gote, don't huh? you want to be. What is now? They say uh, Nigeria is producing uh, crude oil, but importing finished products. Now that mm. Nigeria Dangote has a refinery, Nigeria is now importing crude oil, and they tell you say mm. they tell if they tell you about Nigeria problem, and you you mm. you they've I mean, sold all the you future you contracts and still laughing. They did not explain. No, they've that. sold all the they sold all the future contracts. So you know, so imagine if you have. Have all you know, you know, you have a you know, you have those oil, you know, you know, you have those oil, you know, contracts. Some of them have sold future contracts five years, six years, god knows, all those nice variation of, of bonnie lights. They, they won't tell you, they are not producing. Some of them have borrowed against those assets. So, some people that actually have those oil wells, you know, they borrowed against it. So, some have sold it off. Uh -huh. So, in terms of real, real feedstock for that, for that going to have access to real feedstock, well, you know, even Michael, it, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, it, it's, it's an anomaly. How can you cite a refinery outside the source? Where the, where, where, where the crude oil deal, they say for security reason. What security are you saying? What's you know? It, it shows you that it, it, the country does not work. Any good investor would not want to cite outside that region, but for him to cite outside the region is an anomaly. You now be bringing the crude from God knows where. That's even if it gets in effect. It's, it's all warped. It's a warped thinking. Think, you know, if Dangote had cited it close to the feedstock, okay, maybe he's afraid that. That they will destroy stuff, then it shouldn't be going to that business. Mm -hmm. no, it, 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 it should go to that business. If, if he knew all the things he knows now, he would never have ventured into anything. Uh, because business. they gave him assurances now, because they gave him assurances, you know, assurances, assurance, you know, assurances don't worry, Baba, don't worry, you know, just put the crude oil there, just put the installation there. I want to believe that. Yeah. Nearly 10 billion yeah, dollars. Yeah. So, what do you expect? Yeah, they gave him money. So now, even common feedstock. To feed into that place and, and 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 have refined oil, we can't even do it. My God, it's broken. Let us break it and move on. It's not working. This marriage is not. It is it, an abusive marriage. There's domestic. There's domestic violence inside this marriage. We need to yeah, cut yeah, it off. Yeah, yeah. Abusive <laughs> relationship, This is abusive. Ah, Baba, no. Uh, OT, 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 domestic violence. So, Baba, the husband on the beat the wife. The wife on the beat the husband. Baba, good night, sir. No, Enjoy. Go, Baba. That's the uh, accountant Adeola. Oh, Adeola, I am expecting you in Glasgow. Maybe I should begin to even call some of you out now that uh, some of you will need you in Glasgow. We need some of you with your own area of uh, different area of expertise. We are not just going to sit and talk. We need 
professional contributions to what we want to achieve with uh, the Yoruba Union. And I really do hope you join us, honestly. I know some people are having some other stuff planned for August. I really do hope uh, some of you will make it down. Please do go check it out. Check your calendar and all of that, okay? I'm coming. I have a caller, but I also have uh, another thank you to make. I have received another 50 pounds on that PayPal. So now I am just going to say uh, this donor, I want to say thank you to you. You know yourself who just gave me 50 pounds, okay? Uh, I don't know if I should say sake or uh, K. Okay, I'll say K because I can't know if this person is male or female. But thank you. I got 50 pounds. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have raised uh, 276 pounds. Normally, right, that uh, should have been it because I've got another 50,000 there pledge. Okay. But I want that 300 pounds and anything extra, okay, also goes to them. Why not? Thank you. The link is in your comment. Use it if you feel like you probably feel like it could be of help. Crowdfunding, it is called. Here is a caller. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello. Oh, really? Uh, Air Force One, sir. Yes, sir. Good evening. How are you? Good evening to you too. I'm very well. How are you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so Nigeria, huh? Hmm. What is sudden situation for the for the first of August? Abu Bakuza are getting ready too. So that's where we are hmm. now. It's going to happen. But my I want to say something quick, though. What? 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 Um, this Kenyan's politician, like the people you played, right? That one that was confessed and that that confessed. I was confessing on the that made that video uh -huh. saying that uh okay so I want to ask to to she, as yeah, the, uh, yeah so it was a cabinet member I mean member and uh, he confessed everything bribery you know that he informed himself stuff like that so my my my, my thing is like I don't know yeah so so should should we now say that ten years are have more conscience than Nigerians, or should we say because of the heat of the moment in Kenya, I mean Kenya, that Kenyans are putting on these people, make them, well, you know, we to be say confessing of uh, everything. I'm gonna know, since yesterday, people have been saying they haven't seen Aisha Yusuf, Aisha Yusuf, is that a serious thing? Or Aisha is just taking a break from social media, like, is that a thing? Because I have not really seen it as a thing. But tonight is the second time I'm hearing people drop it. I'm seeing people drop comments and ask about Aisha Yusufu that they have not seen her in the past 12 days. Is that, that a makes, thing? That, that's kind of special. That, that, that's a thing. That's a thing, though, because actually I didn't follow her, but I do see, I do see, you know, like randomly social media will bring uh, recent stuff to me, you know, to listen to. The, I think that kind of yeah, I'm not saying in a way something must be. I mean, might be going on. Somebody I don't know where. It's... Yeah, somebody has answered. They said she made it okay. today. Maybe she was just taking a break. But that's so good that people notice oh. that she's not been around. <laughs> well, that's ah, good. Many people talk about because now, now, you never know this was so people, Even if they don't agree with her all the time, actually really care about her. I mean, this is second time tonight somebody is saying, "I is we are." I'm like, okay, is she missing? And I'm glad somebody just said that. Uh, she you never, Please, your first one. Sorry, you never, you know, you never know. You never know what, what these uh, leaders can do. You never know. Right, Maybe she's been kidnapped. You never know. She took a break. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, but my point is, I, I just, I'm just kind of curious about Kenyans and Nigerians. You know, like. Maybe that's the reason why they are doing all this convention and everybody is saying, "Yo, I'm done. I don't want to be politician anymore. I got a second chance." But back to Nigeria. You see, uh, it's just sad, 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 sad news every day. So the money is not even nothing anymore. Like you can just go there and siphon billions from Naira. All these loans, 
Yeah, all these loans and loans and loans and loans. Tinubu, what are you doing with it? What are they doing with this money? Trillions of dollars, I mean, of Naira, uh, billions of dollars. And these people that are even giving them money, are they also crazy? They must be. They don't care. You know, ye yesterday night, uh, my room yesterday night at work, I listened to an interview. Um, actually, uh, but I, I would say it anyways. To this uh, former gospel singer, her name is uh, Fumera Gbaye. I think they did that interview of recent when she clocked 70. And the only thing I can say throughout, because and I think probably at one point or the other, she was uh, an activist. I don't know, maybe a Christian activist, like she said, I don't know. Uh, but that's what she claimed, according to that interview. She said something that uh, 30 years ago, she used to work in a place with, uh, with the government and you know, the union level while they were seeing Nigeria, you know, they would give them commodities and they would put it in a warehouse. Then the leftovers, she would sell it to uh, his workers and everything that in his in her house, she will now be telling uh, her children that, okay, this toothpaste, you know, marking or toothpaste that we call it in Nigeria back then, that the way they are pressing it on their toothbrush is too much. That do they know that this thing that they are buying in Kobo? In, in, no, in no time, they will be buying 500 naira. Mm. And she said this was about 30 years ago. Oh, that 